hoping we can get away from this in this country where young people have been conned into overpaying for a college education, to going deep into get just to get a four-year degree that is worth less than a corn dog when you graduate. <laughs> <laughs> Giving more money to the Department of Education, as we have been doing for almost 40 years, doesn't improve the state of education. Yeah, he's, ta he's talking as if this is somehow irrational. When, when he says Israel's credibility is on the line, no, Israel's existence is on the line. Well, it's a crisis of confidence, and it's affecting every police department across the United States. It would be convenient to say that it's only Boston, only Baltimore, only Missouri, but the reality is we're seeing a crime surge across the United States. I, was, I know the people that wrote the Patriot Act. These people are constitutional scholars. They did not seek to go and circumvent the Fourth Amendment. I, these, they, they are patriots themselves. If you think that the viewers out there think the economy is roaring, I mean, that is a crazy accusation. You know, I myself, last time I checked, am a white person. And I don't know one other white person, or anybody for that matter, that doesn't believe all lives matter. You become, if you become irrelevant to global affairs, in the way that Germany has been in the last 60 years, it's not, and, and the way America has gone in the last six years, then it's easy to be miscongeniality. I mean, the first Jewish president wouldn't say that he's going to create, as soon as, as soon as he came into office, say, I'm going to create daylight between myself and the state of Israel. The first Jewish president wouldn't say, I'm not, I'm not going to defend Israel at the United Nations if they don't change their ways. The first Jewish president wouldn't go on 60 Minutes and say, Dis dismiss Israel's concern about Iran's nuclear program as noise. It, in my opinion, we're about 80% through the great leftward lean, an experiment in, in national disintegration. We want a president with brains and guts. I don't care about that sheepskin. I went to school with some of the smartest people in the world. I wouldn't want any of them to be president. It's hard for this president to put on his big boy pants and deal with national security. No, these are the black lives that should matter to the Al Sharptons of the world. When the police back off, innocent black people get killed. The only people in our society that don't believe all lives matter are generally liberals who only believe viable lives matter. And that's the problem. It's, this field is more crowded than a Miss America contest. <laughs> Hillary Clinton has demonstrated over and over again that she is not transparent. Her leadership as Secretary of State has placed us in grave danger around the world. I'm just so sick of people who politicize tragedies with their own agendas, left or right. At least 23 people died in those storms. Mainstream media, rather quiet about this one. But it always gets back to that somehow the people that set the fires aren't accountable. It's everyone else's fault, and everyone else should pay for it. It's, listen, you tear up your neighborhood, you pay the consequence. This will be an election, this will be a debate of ideas. It won't be just about one-liners or TV ads or great jokes. This is a substantive election about the future, the direction of our country, and I am confident. The American people, they said it last fall in blue, purple, and red states, they didn't like the direction under President Obama. I don't think they're going to choose four more years under a radical liberal direction under Hillary Clinton. According to Rasmussen's report, 62% of American parents w would feel better if there were armed guards in their children's schools. Let's face facts. We're a screw-up nation, and California is the dull point on the dull spear. You know, everyone uh -huh. talks about this being his legacy. Right. I really don't give a damn about his legacy. You know what I care about? All the people are going to be hurting from this. You know, I've sat in these hospitals. I've looked at people, and while everybody in Washington cares about whether it's his legacy or not, you know, what about these people in this country who are really hurting? What about them? Uh, look, I don't want civilian deaths. But it's as if in World War II we'd refused to bomb Hitler's headquarters in Berlin because we were afraid of hitting a bratwurst stand nearby. Defended the president and painted an entire sector of the population, the Tea Party, as racists and bigots for even asking the questions that the media should have been asking of President Obama. On an evil rating, one being zero, like a singing cricket, to 100, a mass beheading, let's agree, agree that ISIS hits the jackpot. Clearly that's worse than not baking a cake for gays. So lots of people go into the front of the line, but the regular people with the left always go into the back of the line. He says that Israel is in the grip of the politics of fear uh, and that they're in danger of losing their values and that Israel is too concerned about terrorism. This is coming from the guy who dismissed ISIS as JV terrorists and he's telling the Israelis they're too concerned about terrorism. Why doesn't he live in their neighborhood uh, and, and see what it's like to be a leader of a country that is facing terrorists just over the border? Those of you who are graduating this afternoon with high honors, awards, and distinctions, 
I say well done. And as I like to tell the C students, you too can be president. <laughs>